Happy Sunday. Welcome. Hola, Carmen. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everyone is having a fantastic weekend. It looks like we are having a wave of storms to come through here in Georgia. Hello, D. Blair. So I am hoping that the worst of it is over. Hello, Beverly. Um, if not, we may be cutting tonight short. Hello, Denise. Hello, Roslyn. Hello, Roslyn. Two different spellings there. Good evening, both of you. Welcome. I am a little bit, um, so let me just go back. So yesterday, hello, Kimberly. Hello, Leslie. Ladies, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. So if you had an opportunity to watch my video from yesterday, it was a very short video, but you could tell, I think, that I was playing around in my closet. So a bit of bag dress up. And hi, Ems. And so as I was playing around, hello, DJ King, as I was playing around with my uh, bags and one strap on yesterday, it made me think about bags from Dooney that I think need just a little bit of help. Hello, Delise. Welcome. Clove007. Hello, hello. Happy Sunday to you all. If you would, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. So, hello, Vader. So there is a particular bag, hello the closet dive, that I shared a little while, and I'm surrounded in bags right now, here it is, okay. So I shared this bag because I was extremely interested, I was excited to carry it, and quite honestly, I would do a ton of different things to remake this particular bag. The first thing that I'm gonna say, my disclaimer is, I know that there are a lot of you that are die hard logo lock fans. Even if it's not that bag, you just love that hardware. And I'm not. Um, and it has taken me carrying a couple of different bags with that kind of closure to realize that I am not a fan. But I had an interest in this gorgeousness and decided that I would give it a try. And what I want you to know about this bag for me is that my opinion is it needs some help. Hello, Rain Ocean. Hello, Mrs. Q. Welcome. Naomi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So I love this bag. It was great for travel. I love the feet. It's got a big butt on it, so I was able to throw all of my stuff in here. It worked over the shoulder. I love the fact that I was able to easily get in. I could see all of my stuff. I love the fact that it had the pocket on the front and that my stuff would go in here, you know, my phone and my boarding pass. Those items worked very well here. But what I realized is after carrying this bag for two weeks is I don't like it. Hi, DJ King at High Bag Hound. I don't like it because of this stinking logo lock. This thing... Um, it doesn't lay well. And I think Dee Blair had the same issue with her bag is that once you actually get your stuff in this bag, trying to get the closure, the, you know, over the top of the bag, the leather has to do strange things in order for it to close. And then depending on how full you've got your bag, you really, and I only have paper in here now, but you really have to work like work work like work 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 to get this logo lock in here and then look what it does to the 
leather at the top. It should have like there are some Dooney bags that actually almost have what I call like a gift corner at the top where the bottom is Sabrina in the room. It's the same bag. Kim, Sonja, maybe you ladies can remember, but it was the bag that Sabrina picked up a couple of during, uh, leave me alone, closet dive. <laughs> um, it's the bag. Okay, Brina, what is the bag that you picked up a couple of during the tent sale? You got it in like a couple of different colors. Valerie and I were giving you a hard time, but the closure on the top of that bag is like what this bag design needs. Do you know which bag I'm talking about? You were going to use it for work. I think you got it in black, black. And then the question was whether or not you needed it in the black, brown, or whether you needed it in the navy. Do you remember? Mrs. Q, do you, do you remember the name of it? Brina. Hi, Rhonda. Hello, Sunny Skies. Hello, Shirley. So I'm trying to give Sabrina an opportunity to either run go check or to give me, okay, she doesn't remember the name. But the, the that bag, if I can get this off, it almost has like a, a one side of it is cut so that it actually lays flat down on the bag like this and then the top actually folds over so it forms a little bit of a seal on it and then i just personally that little thing if it did what sabrina's bag did with like a magnetic here just to hold would have been perfect. Even more ideal than this thing is just a zipper across the top or just a snap. This needs a remake as just a tote without this logo lock because I literally ended up carrying the bag for two weeks. All right. So I literally carried the bag for two weeks with the logo lock actually hanging inside the bag on the back wall. One, because it was bouncing around and scratching like my Florentine leather. I don't know if you can see it right in there, but that was a no-no for me. I did not like that. Um, I think that the strap on this um, hardware either needs to be a little bit longer or it needs a different closure or a combination of like 9,000 other different things. I love the size of this bag though. It was great under the arm. For those of you that commute or like bags that fit closer underneath your shoulder for security reasons, for this hits all of the marks. And I love this color and you just cannot go wrong with Florentine. But the design of the bag for me is lacking just a little because of the logo lock and the fact that it is so difficult to close if you are really using this as a full capacity bag. Now, I also have this bag in the Belvedere leather in the color apricot. Um, I have not carried it yet. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to, because I'm going to have the same issue with the lock. And even though the Belvedere leather is a little softer and I think just a smidgen less structured, I think that I'm going to have, um, I think I will probably just find a new reason to not like the design of this bag. Um, or the, the hardware of this bag. So, I don't know. It's a shame. And I know that there are a lot of you that really love the logo lock. But to me, it is just cumbersome and unnecessary. And quite honestly, 
even though I love my Pembroke uh, Claire bags, love them, I have got to find the right occasion to carry them because they have that stinking logo lock on the front. They look adorable tabletop in the pictures, clothes. I got pulled in, but the logo lock is just not a preferred piece of hardware for me. So, back to the video that I posted yesterday. Short video, I'm playing around in my bags and I pulled out one particular strap from Michael Kors and I thought, you know what, let me just kind of pull a couple of bags and see how this one strap will work for those bags. And there are a few bag designs that I really, really love from Dooney. But because of the strap, I may continue to purchase them or have continued to purchase them, at least one of them as of late. But I'm not quick to carry them because of the shoulder strap. They have thin straps. I'm sure if you were here last week, you recall me having a fit over this little thin uh, pink strap that came on a Willis organizer. But there are other bags that have straps that quite honestly, for the size, I would just imagine that for the size, people are just gonna load them down, especially if there's a small version and a large version. Um, or if it's a larger bag, I would anticipate that the carrier of that bag is looking for a larger bag for a specific reason, right? Because they need the capacity and that the strap would reflect the weight that that bag would probably reach. So I have pulled a couple of bags that I specifically had in mind as I've made my Michael Kors bag strap purchases. These were bags that quite honestly, I was thinking about either um, decluttering or rehoming from my collection or just counting them as collector's items just because of the strap. It just made it super uncomfortable for me to carry and travel with. Um, some of them because of the strap length and with me being vertically challenged, even at 5'5". Five, five, I don't like bags that um, when I'm carrying them by the shoulder are hitting in my thigh or in the bend of my knee. And there are a couple of these bags that um, if I don't adjust the strap when they come, they are extremely uncomfortable. And then even with me having a shorter torso, even when I do adjust them and put them on the shortest length, they still are very uncomfortable. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple of bags and to share with you why um, these bags have been a no for me and how I think a change in the strap is going to work better for me. All right. So the first bag is the City Dawson, like the large City Dawson. This was a birthday bag purchase for me. I absolutely fell in love with this bag when it released. The storage options with four outside pockets, one here and here, and then one here on the front and a, and a duplicate um, on the back. Fell in love because my phone would fit. Easy access to things like... Um, lipstick or lip gloss or an ink pen or my business card holder or my boarding pass or any of those things that I've decided. I'm one of those people that even if I'm using my phone to check in at the airport because you never know when you're going to have a delay or you're going to do something on your phone and it's going to drain the rest of your battery. I always print a hard copy or paper copy of my boarding pass even if I'm using my phone to check in. 
So having those things accessible for me was part of the reason that I love this bag. This bag is what helped me to discover that I am not a north-south bag carrier. I am an east-west um, because short people typically don't have long arms. And I'm a short person. Five, five. And this bag, let me just show you. Like, if I were to, like, place my hand on the floor of this bag, it comes up just above my elbow. <laughs> this is a, this is a big bag. It is a tall bag. I carried it for about a week after I got it. Love the fact that everything fit in there, but always felt like I was diving into a cave to try to find my stuff at the bottom of the bag. I, Kim, I agree. I love it, but it is huge. It comes with a strap that allows for it to be carried over the shoulder or short strap or crossbody. But because it's so north-south, I don't have a whole lot of body space, physical body space. Um, that would uh, th This strap has to be like just right in order for it to be a comfortable carry or a crossbody. I thought about the, sh the smaller version. Um, but y'all know I carry a ton of stuff and I'm always on the go and I just can't be in a position where I'm like in Chicago or Detroit or Minneapolis or Dallas or Houston or some other place. And there's something that I need that I would have normally had in my bag, but because my bag is small, I have forfeited having something in my bag. So when... Sonja Covington shared with Kimberly Mines and I at like, I don't know, midnight, 1 a.m. on a Friday night. The three of us are up um, having a good old time on the phone. Mentioned about the MK straps. Remind you, this is right after the Henry Bendel or Andre Bendel fiasco and trying to get straps and so on and so forth. So... I immediately, and I need to sneeze, <laughs> I immediately thought of a few bags that maybe if I were able to change the strap might afford me to fall back in love with the bag the way I did when I purchased it and to get some more usefulness out of it. So that's what we are going to do today. I'm going to share with you why these bags have not worked for me and show you the MK or HB straps that I have picked up that I think would be phenomenal. Now, if you are interested in any of these bags, I would say right now go to ILD because the additional 20% off would make these a much more affordable purchase and probably a little bit more tolerable if you ended up getting them in hand, had um, some concerns about the functionality of the bag. The price point may help you get over it a bit more if you get it with the additional 20% off. So just a little bit of food for thought. The first strap that I'm going to share with you is an HB strap. And I was not um, initially a fan of this strap because I just couldn't vision it with anything in my collection. I like the idea that it had the pop of green, but I don't have a lot of green bags in my collection. I love the fact that it had the HB Centennial Stripe, so it would be a classic piece from the collection. I love the fact that this was one of the last bag strap designs. Loved the fact that it had like the taupe or nudie along with the Sierra luggage colored trim. Let me just get that a little bit closer so that you can see it. Love the fact that it had the hardware in every piece of leather, the braiding detail, the thickness of the strap. It was just something I fell in 
love with. And I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on this strap because even though it has the centennial stripe, if you're looking for a little bit of pop or a little bit of contrast, um, there are some bags in my collection that I would have not thought to put it with that once you put it on the bag, it really, really changes the bag. Um, it changes the look of the bag, but it's not to the point that you're solely focused on the strap. It adds a little bit of interest, but it doesn't take away from the bag. So there were many of you that last week um, when we were talking about straps, kind of cast your vote on what you liked. And let's just see based on what I've pulled out, because I've only pulled out a select few straps and I may not get through all of them, but to see what your thoughts are on the contrast of them. So here is the first one. So the green pop, the centennial stripe, the luggage, they all, the luggage kind of pulls this trim. And then the leather strap here, strip here down the center to me, pulls the bag. I kind of like it. It also is short enough that I can carry it as a shoulder bag. It has the adjustments, so I can make it a little bit shorter to help offset the fact that the bag is north-south. And depending on how desperate I am in the moment, it could be a very short crossbody. Not for an all-day carry, but if you're like, if it's like pouring down rain and you're trying to get out of the grocery store to your car, it, it would work for that situation so that you can just kind of make the mad dash and get in. So I really, really like this one with it. Again, the green, I would not have thought that it would have worked with, um, with the strap or comparing it with any other bags, but it adds just enough interest. I think that it will work. All right. So... The next strap is also a late release from Henri Bendel. I am beating myself up that I did not pick up the black version of this one, but my tribe sister picked it up and we're going to just have to have uh, joint custody. She has it now, so I guess I'll enjoy it um, in the fall of the year. But this is another Henri Bendel strap. And I, do you see the 3D wonderfulness on this strap? I didn't think that I was going to like it, but I wanted it. Y'all know it was in red, so it, it was just calling to me to add it to my cart. And I'm so glad that I did because this strap is going to work with red bags, white bags, tote bags, bone bags. Um, oyster colored bags, black bags. It's going to work with a couple of my travel bags. The color, because all of the colors that are on, you know, on the design are so neutral. I, 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 I am just excited that I was able to get it. So what I like, but I'm also curious about is the, all of these heads are like 3D. You can tell like it's on here, but there is no rivets, no hardware, no nothing on the back. And I can't feel anything through like there's no indentation. So it, I think it will be a test of quality for this brand for heavy use. But maybe I don't use this one for heavy use. But let me just show you what this one looks like with the Dawson. Just enough, I think, here, right, in the darker pieces that it will 
work. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Now, there is, uh, there are two more straps. The one that I showed yesterday, which was this one. And if you only knew the hunt, oh my goodness, if you only knew the hunt for this strap. So I have to thank my tribe sister, Kimberly Mines. I have to thank my tribe sister, DJ King. I have to thank my tribe sister, Sonja Covington, because everybody knew I was looking for this strap and it was the most difficult to find. And as much as I have shared with you guys that I have told DJ King, I am not shopping with you. Don't call me. I'm not pulling out my card. It was thanks to a weekend shopping excursion with none other than DJ King that I was finally able to secure this strap and at an amazing price. Amazing. Um, so light taupe was the uh, the satchel color that I pulled yesterday, but I just want to see with oyster if I can make this one work as well. And I think I've got, it's close enough that I can make it work. And it will add just enough interest. And Carmen, make the call. Are you back home? Make the call, whether it is your bone, your light taupe, your oyster, your elephant, and definitely with your natural colored bags. And if you have orange, particularly Dooney's Orange Florentine, this is absolutely perfect. So I think that because the strap is a little wider, it's going to be a little bit more proportionate to the weight. It's going to help evenly distribute the weight that I am carrying in my bag. And I cannot wait to give... The large City Dawson, another try now that I have a strap or several straps that I think will give it not only a different look, but make me feel a whole lot more comfortable about the actual carry. So two more with this bag. And this one I think was a little bit of a sleeper. I know that when I told my tribe sisters, all of them, that I had this one, I kind of got the, mm, really, D.A., okay. Um, and maybe it is a really D.A., okay, and it's not going to work, but I know that this group will absolutely tell me if it's not going to work. And this strap is actually still available. It's one of the very few that if you call around and check out MK stores, this is one of the styles and colors that are still in stock. This one is called the Embossed Leather Guitar Strap, and it is in the color Oyster. This strap was originally $98. $98. It was marked down to $13.33. Yes, $13.33. And I paid $10 for it. And it is this strap. Hello, Ivana. Hi, Kimberly. So this is it. Um, at least yesterday morning, this strap was even still available on Michael Kors. No, Vader, they are not all Michael Kors straps. The, um, first two were Henry Bindle. This one was an MK strap and this one is an MK strap. So two different brands, but this one was still available on the site. So I'm not sure about this one, but I'll hear your thoughts. I think that the underlying colors in it go well. The hardware is like rose gold, which of course is very different. Nothing like this um, on Dooney. 
Um, do need bags. Let me let me go back and clear it up. But let's take a look at this one. What are your thoughts on the texture and the color on this one? It does have a little bit of rose gold that is running all through it. But I think that the little pattern here that's in the interior um, is just enough to kind of tie it together. Just enough. Not, I don't think it is as great of a pair as some of the other ones that I've already shown you, but it definitely could carry, you know, would, would be a good carry. And then the last one is one that I've not even taken out yet because I want to see how close or how off it actually is and this one was a little difficult to find as well but there were a few stores that still had this one um i believe it was dj king correct me is it the grove in um la the grove mall so if you're looking for this strap or a scallop strap um, as of last weekend, the MK store at the Grove in California, that's a mall in the LA area, they still had scallop straps, they still had luggage, um, they had um they had a few different colors. DJ King, if you still have that picture, if you'll post in the comments, please, ma'am, what the colors were from that picture, I would appreciate it. This one also has gold hardware, so I think that it will go well. Um, the MK strap, some of them have silver hardware, some of them have gold. This one actually has gold, and the color on this one is called Truffle. It was also regular $98, but this is, and I don't know that it's gonna focus because I'm on my cell phone right now, trying to keep a dis decent, um, stream but it's considered scalloped it's a double scallop on both sides again gold hardware and i wanted to see how close or how far off the color match would be on this one and i like this one because this strap um feels just a little bit shorter compared to the others it's not perfect, but it's pretty damn close considering the differences in the brand. What do you think? All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So I didn't want to go too far off the reservation because part of the reason that I really, really liked this color in this bag is because it was so neutral. Because I wouldn't have to, um, you know, change in and out of a bunch of things. And the fact that it was so north-south and that the strap was so stinking thin and it's in here in the bottom just so that I can see if I can dig it out and show you the size comparison. It just... There's like no comparison to the weight distribution. Let me just get it lined up. There it is. So if you're looking right in here, you can tell how much thicker. It's like two and a half times as thick as the strap that came with it. So maybe, maybe I'll move back into this bag definitely on a week. What I'm going to be at home, though, in case it's not going to work out as opposed to traveling with it and exploring to see if the remake actually makes a difference. I like this bag. All right. So. The next bag, in my opinion, that really needed a strap remake 
is none other than Clayton. I like Clayton. I have a couple different Claytons. A few. It's one of the few bags that I own in black and natural and red and orange and bone and sunflower and, and you get my point, right? But this bag, let me tell you, this bag is not for the faint of heart. It has amazing organization. Back, zip pocket, front alone, before you even get in, it has four pockets, like here, and then each of the flaps here has a pocket. But this bag is almost three pounds empty. So by the time I throw all of my heavy stuff in here, the little strap that comes with it, and the fact that it's also a bit north-south as opposed to east-west. This, to me, just isn't going to cut it. And I don't care how I adjust it. I don't care how thick and how brassy or how satin or how matte. The hardware is on it. This bag, when it is loaded down, when it's three pounds empty, just gets really heavy. So back to a couple of the straps that we've already seen because we're just playing around. It needs a remake. This bag needs a remake or it needs a different strap option. Or Dooney needs to get into the strap game other than just web replacement straps um, because there are a few bags that I would have loved to have carried to death by now but because of the strap it's been a deterrent I kind of like that together just enough pop and color contrast to add a little bit of interest the reds are not so far off that it's extremely noticeable it's probably a little bit more noticeable in person the mk strap is i mean the um, hb strap is just a little bit darker i don't know if you can see that on camera but i love this and y'all know for me to have a red bag in my collection that I'm steering clear of because of the strap, because of the carry, because it's not convenient in the airport, that is major for me. So the fact that it has silver hardware on the strap and the bag has, I, I told y'all last week, I don't care anything about mixing metals because it's going to work for me. Oh, so I'm excited to finally be able to move back into these. Um, I wish that MK would do uh, a yellow strap. I uh, need something that has yellow because I want to have a strap that works in the sunflower version of this bag. But... They also had a couple of what they call grommet straps. And they had grommet straps in um, solid colors and you could either get them with silver or gold hardware down the center. I, being the red fanatic that I am, picked up this strap with both the silver grommets as well as the red grommet option. So let's see how this one looks. Okay, looks like I'm pulling the wrong way or the wrong thing. What are we doing? All right, that works. Okay, let's get this open. 
Yes, DJ King, I saw your comment. I understand we're going to have some more joint custody arrangements. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Because I think your, um, maybe your strap and Sonja's strap and Mrs. Q's strap, is it the cheetah or leopard or whatever? I think that on this red was like some little um, ballet slippers out of that same print would absolutely be gorgeous, particularly going into the fall. So here is the, let's see, I've got, this is the silver version, red strap silver. And it does, I tried this one on earlier. That's how I knew that the red, um, or at least I think the red is gonna work. This one works well with it. But I did get the gold as well. So there it is with the silver. And under these lights, I mean, there's not, you can't really tell a whole lot because the hardware is, you know, brushed. So I don't know that it's a big deal whether it had the silver or the gold, but because I had the option of the gold and because the strap was um, marked down even further, I just, I couldn't pass it up. So here it is with the red MK strap. I think this is perfect. Perfect. Dare I say it again? I think it's perfect because you guys don't understand the very first Clayton that I purchased was before Dooney even had it available on their website to sell. It was a Nordstrom anniversary exclusive. I bought it in July and Dooney was not going to even release the bag until like December or January the following year. And I saw this model who had styled it with like jeans and a little um, black leather jacket. And she had on some cute little peanut butter color boots. And she had this gorgeous Clayton in natural Florentine. The price was amazing because when you shop the Nordstrom anniversary sale you just get amazing prices during the summer and it's not last year's stuff um it's not stuff that they're trying to mark down for clearance it's all new merchandise and you're getting an amazing price on it so I scooped it up and I carried that bag for probably three or four months non-stop rain shine sleet snow did not matter to me storms travel, work, I, it, it didn't matter. I just fell in love with the bag and the fact that so often I did not have to go in my bag for stuff because of all of the outside organization. So to get to a point where three pounds empty plus the weight of my usual carry and a thin strap, it just made it not so fun to carry. And Quite honestly, it caused more issues with like my back hurting and my shoulder hurting and the constant shifting from one shoulder or from the, you know, from the handles to the strap. It just, it got to be a problem. So I tucked her away, stuffed her, tucked her away, and she's not been carried as much as I would love to carry her. But now that she's getting a bit of a strap makeover, a little bit of help, I think she will come out of rehab and be a much, much better addition to my collection. All right, let's take a look at this orange one because I think that, oh, I love this. I have um, orange Florentine 
Mark Fisher sandals that I picked up specifically to match this bag and another couple of orange bags that I have from Dooney. But just because I have been so obsessed with getting this strap in my collection, I just, I wanted you to see like it again, like in action. Like I know if you saw my video yesterday, you saw this strap in action with a few different things, but I, I just, oh, look at that. I love it. I love it. The contrast. You would never guess that this was a completely different company with the strap because it is virtually perfect. And where it's not, the fact that it has other colors to kind of break it up. I may end up with red on one shoulder and orange on the other one because exactly, Beverly, it was made for this bag. It was made specifically for this gorgeousness. You're so pretty. <laughs> Y'all, I love it. All right. So I think I have a couple more. Not many more. Just, I think two more and it is the orange florentine medium satchel y'all see i haven't even i had to have this color i had to have it added to my collection i wanted it i had to have it tiger stripes and all on the back do y'all can you see the tiger stripes can you see the tiger i did not care I didn't care. I wanted it. I had to have it. But once I got it, because of all of my frustrations with the medium satchel and the fact that, again, long, thin strap, heavy carry, travel, it just was not working for me. So I needed, I needed the color in my collection, but I've been trying to figure out how to get the most out of my carry. Now, I know that my tribe sister Valerie is like team Florentine medium satchel, die hard, go all the way. But Valerie also typically carries her bags by the handles. Rarely, if ever, will you see her carrying her bag by that thin strap. But I just need a little bit more flexibility. I mean, if it has both, I should feel comfortable in using both but this, it just was not gonna work. So I pulled this one out just because I needed to dig it out so that I can take the plastic off of her and start using her because I know this strap is gonna work. Looky, 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 looky. Mm. Peter, <clears throat> orange needs to come back. Sunflower needs to come, come back. We need this medium satchel and sunflower. Need it back in orange, need it in Kelly green, need it in lavender, um, need it in coral. I have no clue, no clue, no clue why coral was available only on pre-order. It hasn't shipped yet and it's no longer available for purchase. I, uh, what? Um, we also need it in, um, did I already say sunflower and butter? Did I already say those? We need, I mean, yellow seems to be the thing this summer. And we haven't seen these colors available from Dooney. Old styles, new styles, n nothing, nothing, nothing else. We just, we need you to um, go back and find some yellow banana peels and whatever else you use to make like sunflower and stuff. Throw it in a drum with some calf had and get us some yellow florentine and a little bit more coral and salmon y'all it frustrates me and I'm, i guess i'm getting a little bit on a rant here but it frustrates me to no end that other brands 
seem to be able to have colors, their colors for the season, and they are available, like, the entire season. But we can't get that with Dooney. I mean, to, for the life of me, why do we not have the option of purchasing right now, whether it's on sale or not, on Dooney Pay or not? Why do we not have the option of purchasing the Coral Florentine Medium Satchel? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody got an answer for me? It, no, nothing. Nothing? Oh. Can we make up an answer? I just don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It like it's like a a a sucker punch to my gut that things that we have now that I have now been exploring and finding in other brands, even though it's like me slowly dipping my toe in the pool with other brands but I'm finding so many other things from other brands that are just not available from Dooney I mean we all did the Dooney.com as well as the ILD survey last year we gave them our feedback we talked about giving honest very curt feedback to them to help them become better as a brand and to give us the things um, that quite honestly, we are waiting to spend our money on from a quality standpoint, from, um, from a color standpoint, from a selection standpoint, from a size standpoint, from a doggone strap drop standpoint. Let's just let's just get right down to some of the details that we you know consistently seem to have frustrations about. But I don't know about you. I feel like I'm still waiting for the spring and summer collection to really show up. Anyway, what else did I pull out here? Y'all can tell I've really wanted to get like back into my Florentine bags, but I've been a little hesitant just because they are so heavy. And I'm not one of those people. I'm not at the point where I'm complaining about the weight of my bags, um, except I'm complaining about the weight of my bags because of the straps, which is different. I'm claiming that that's different from other bag complaints. What do I have here? Is this the last one? All right, this one right here. Y'all, so... This right here, this right here, right here, right here, right here. What is it hung on? Right here. All right. So, Bone Clayton. She's still wrapped. Y'all know how crazy I am for this, <sighs> this color as of late. Like, the neutrals, I think um, Valerie has definitely had an effect, an impact on me. <laughs> DJ King, I'm not gonna pull out anymore. I know this. The, uh, I, I know you're at your limit. You can't take any more tonight, so I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna stop here. I promise. This is it. I'm, I'm not gonna pull out another one. But I love this thing, and Valerie is absolutely like a very classic, clean color palette and she challenged me this year to start the year like fresh slate clean slate new year everything's fresh new and to just go with a clean color palette in my bag and I promise you I don't seem to be able to shake it y'all see I carried like the Andre Bendale bag in like the nudie color and then I moved straight from that into Dooney in the new color and we're we're just you know three and a half months into the new year and I have not I have not carried a red bag this year so one I've got to correct that but let's take a look and see if any of these will work with bone and I think that who hmm I know, Carmen, I've got to get them organized so that I can, can find them. If y'all knew, like, the rigmarole that I have to go through every week to try to 
pool bags or pool boxes in order. I would be completely embarrassed to like show you behind the camera right now. Don't ask. I'm not doing it. Save your typing. Don't get carpal tunnel trying to ask about it because the answer is no. But it's a hot mess in here, which is all the reason, all the more reason that I need to shop my closet, get organized, mix and match. There were some um, great um, tags. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I'd ask that you do so. But I'd ask in two of my most recent videos for you to basically shop your own closet, curate your own accessories, your bags, pull things together and post it on your Instagram and tag me in it. And y'all should go and check out some of the bag picks and tags because we have some a great accessories and great colors. And I love the fact that those of you that are following along and actively participating in the chat or in social media or the bag tags or, you know, what, whatever your, whatever your, um, your, your mode of communicating and connecting with the tribe is, even if you aren't doing any of those things, but you're taking the challenges every single week and saying, okay, let me go and just see what accessory I can pull out, try. What do I have new in my closet? <sighs> Y'all, it is so worth shopping your own closet. And it's worth it because the things that you've added into your collection are things that at one point you just had to have. And if you're like me, a lot of them still have the plastic on them. So you had to have it. You spent your money on it, but then you've not enjoyed it. You've not done anything with it. So shop your own closet, um, tag me or use the hashtag um, shop your closet or curate your closet and or curate your collection. I love that. Ah, I love that. Carmen, call the store, get the strap. They had two left. That's all I'm saying. They had two left. All right, definitely not going to do red. Um, I don't think the HB one is going to go at all. I'm going to say this one is a no. Uh, what do you think? Uh, you like it, Mrs. Q? All right, I'm getting some yeses, some yeses. Okay. All right, I see you, I see you. Okay, so this one works. So that's two. Um, I think... It is picking... You cannot see a stitch of metallic because this does not have any metallic on this strap, but I promise you under these lights, it looks like it's reflecting silver and it is so... Oh, so, 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 so not, so not silver. Okay, maybe that it was the position of the strap. Yay, nay, yes, okay. I don't know that it adds as much pop, as much interest as the um, persimmon multi, that's the orange strap one, but it definitely keeps it clean, classic, adds just a little bit of interest. Still gives me a thick strap. I'm going to toss that one back over here. Um, there is this one. Oh. What do you think? I could make that work. Y'all know if it's red, I can I'll figure it out whether it goes or not because when it's my when it's red, I'm like, I don't care what anybody else thinks. It's on me. I can make it work. Um, I don't think that truffle is going to work with it at all. I think it's just too um much of a contrast. But on camera, it works. It does not look good in person. <laughs> it may look a little it might pass. It might pass on camera, but in person, 
It's a no. It's an absolute no. But this is the one that I've been curious about. This one right here with the bone. I want to see what this one looks like. Uh, it works in person. It really does work in person on camera. The shiny reflection is a no. But it does work in person. Now the question is whether or not I would put it together. Mm. It, it, it. Mm. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. It, because it has, when it in person, even though like whatever these little spots are here are like the same color as the bag, because the bag has, or because the strap has a little bit of the rose gold and kind of a pinky hue, it just throws it off. Throws it off. But I do have a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And this one, right. Chill. Yep, that's Bay right there. <laughs> Kimberly Mimes, yes, I did. It has a smidgen, a smidgen of pink. Yeah. So, I'm going to take a quick look at the comments. Um, but again, Shopping your own collection, mixing and maxing, mixing and matching some brands at this point. Um, because if you're waiting for Dooney on straps, I don't know how long you will have to wait. Maybe it's another 40 plus years. Maybe you, you know, go to your grave and never have it. But just like this bag needed a little bit of help, a little bit of a remake. If you missed me talking about this at the beginning of the live stream, um, please go back and watch the start um, from, on the replay when it uploads. But there are just a few bags that I think are going to be way, 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 way more enjoyable um, with the thicker strap and with um, a little bit more interest in the straps and a little bit more width in the strap. I think that sometimes not only do you have to shop your closet, but you may have to mix up your brands and your straps and your colors just a little bit more. And by doing so, you really, really, really will expand your collection. That's all I would say. That's my two cents. So let me go back. If you would, ladies, um, if you would hit the thumbs up. I am interested in hearing what straps you have um, purchased or bags that you believe need a little bit of a makeover that would make it a little bit more enjoyable for you. So let me see if I can get my camera back together all right let's see uh dj king i could send it delta i try not to deal with american and united every once in a while i'm kind of forced to but i i'm a little i don't know i'm a i'm a delta girl um All right. Welcome, Brandy. Glad to have you. Hello, Shirley. Elizabeth Carroll, welcome. Sandra, you're right. I do need um, some purse charms. 
I should probably um, talk to my tribe sister and see how much she'll charge me for curating some uh, bag charms for me. Hello, bag hound. Lucinda, welcome. Elizabeth, again, welcome. Delise Claudia, welcome. Beverly, I think I'm, I'm probably duplicating some of my greetings. If so, um, charge it to my head and not my heart. Okay, Carmen, you can call. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Life help now. Welcome. I'm glad you like the green strap. That was one that I was really going to pass on. And um, I'm glad that I didn't because I've tried it with a couple of different bags, even travel pieces. And it was spot on. I really, really like it. I agree, D. Blair. Red is a neutral. It goes with everything. It's going to work. Hello, Delise. All right, it looks like I can only go back so far. Sandra, you ordered the oyster? Yeah, it's still available on the site, or at least it was yesterday morning when I checked. Yeah, um... Kim, I think the strap that you're holding for me with the Bordeaux trim, I think that one is going to work with several bags as well, which means I need to either get a package to you or get my next flight booked to Detroit so we can um, swap and I can bring you your birthday present. Okay, perfect, Carmen. Um, so the um, strap, I purchased my strap from the Gatlinburg location. So it is actually called Sevierville, Tennessee. And it's the MK outlet at the, what is the name of the outlets there? I think they're called the Sevierville Premium Outlets. Um, but they also had um, a couple of the straps left at um, Michael Kors in Concord Mills, North Carolina, in Charlotte, North Carolina, Concord Mills in Charlotte, North Carolina. So that they had, um, that's, these are, the, that's like the last two places that um, I've been able to find that one. All right. So, um, ladies, shop your closet, curate your own collection, mix and match, pull out your wallets, pull out your straps, pull out your card cases, pull out your twillies, whatever it is. And, um, yes, there is Delise. It is called the Persimmon Multi. Oh, it's cut off at the top. And I don't have my cheat sheet in here. See, the number is here at the top. And it's cut off. But this, you, I can give you the skew. But this is this top number is what they use to look it up in their system. And I don't think I can make that out. Um, and I thought I had it written down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do y'all see that? I got a note on my desk that says DJ King personal shopper. <laughs> All right, let me see. Okay, okay, okay. I have it. I do have, I have the SKU and the item number for this one. All right. Um, 
Somebody that's on a keyboard, will you type in so that everyone can get this one? The name of the strap is called Persimmon Multi. Yep, that's the name of it, Persimmon Multi. The SKU number is, you ready, you ready, you ready? The SKU number is 19231770324. I have it written on the back of an envelope because I was shopping. Um, again, the SKU is 19231770324. Thank you, Sabrina. And the item number, which is what they use at MK to, to check their inventory, is item number 35, F as in Frank, H as in Harry, G as in George, G as in George, the number 9, N as in Nancy, the number 3, R as in Robert. I'll repeat it. It's three, five, F as in Frank, H as in Harry, G as in George, G as in George, the number nine, N as in Nancy, the number three, R as in Robert. That is the item number. And the strap again is called the Persimmon Multi Guitar Strap, Michael Kors outlets not the retail stores oh 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 wait there was another store in chicago at the chicago premium outlets the mk store at the chicago premium outlets wednesday a week ago when i was there had this strap on clearance as well so those are the only places that i know of that had it um and I don't know what time it is. If you can, they're on central time, so you may still be okay. I do think um, the outlets charge for shipping, while the lifestyle stores, which are their retail stores, do not charge for shipping. But this right here, I had to track it down. I, do, and do y'all see now why? It goes with so much. I probably should have purchased another one just in case I wore this one out, like wore it to death. Um, so, yeah. I love it. All right, that's enough of me being silly. Um, uh, Please, please, please make sure that before you head out, you thumbs up this video. There are 49 of you showing in the room right now. We topped out at 62 people. Only 37 of you have hit the thumbs up. And quite a few of you are now shopping for straps. Good luck with those. The MK site, I will tell you behind the scenes, we shop the site hard. Um, there are a lot of pictures that are showing that straps are available, but when you go to put them in your cart or you get ready to check out, it's going to tell you that the quantity is not available. What I will share with you is that calling the outlets in obscure places or visiting obscure parts of town, good night, Teresa, those are going to be your best options. Um, stores that still had inventory of different color varieties, the California stores, um, Vegas still had some inventory. They had pretty good inventory. Vegas even has some of the newer straps, depending on whether you're looking for um, the clearance price point or whether you're okay paying a little bit more because you might be a little bit later jumping into the strap game. The Gaffney Outlet Store had quite a few um, straps left. And that again, that was an outlet store. Concord Mill still had a few um, left. Um, we called a store in Sacramento. Um, the Memphis Lifestyle Store still had some left. And it's actually physically located in Covington, Georgia, Covington Tennessee, as opposed to Memphis. But it's like a suburb. Um, the Mall of America still had some store, um, some straps 
available. I don't know if, you know, for those of you that may have missed the live stream at Mall of America, you could go back and take a look at that live stream to kind of see what the selection was there. The um, MK store at Opry Mills in Nashville, Tennessee still had um, a handful of straps left. Help me out, DJ King. Help me out, Sanja. Help me out. Kimberly, help me out, Mrs. Q, Sabrina, um, Carmen, ladies, help me uh, direct the ladies to places that may still have straps in stock. Um, DJ King, did we find some in like the Savannah area? I know they didn't have specifically the ones that we were looking for, but um, yeah. All right. Please make sure that you are not only subscribed to this channel, but that you are subscribed and have the bell alert for my tribe sisters. Um, Mrs. Q, we hang out on Mrs. Q's channel on Friday nights for For Real Fridays at 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central. My tribe sisters, Sandra Covington, Kimberly Mines, M Squareds, Carmen Hawkins, Suz What, Military Mom. If you like the idea of tribe time and you come and hang out and you have not subscribed to those ladies' channels, I beg you, I beg you to please subscribe. Uh, YouTube has changed uh, live streaming requirements and um, those ladies have been a bit impacted by that rule change. So I'd ask that you please, 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 if you are not subscribed, um, to hit the subscribe button so that they can um, get their subscriber count to the new YouTube requirements for mobile live streaming. Um, check out D. Blair, My Pursuit of Happiness. Um, make sure that you are taking a look at Honey is Natural. Um, I am purse happy too, purse delighted, purse demented, handbag hauler, bag hound, Patty Perez. Um, make sure that you are, who else am I forgetting? I'm forgetting a lot of names, I am sure. Uh, Classic MG, Florentine Quack. Um, who else am I forgetting? D DJ King. DJ King started her channel on her birthday. So go over and check out her channel as well. Um, I told her it's time for her to upload a new video and that it is time for us to hear her voice on camera. It's time. It's time for her to step outside of her comfort zone. Um, if you are a bit on edge and you are wanting to tempt fate, if you are one that plays with fire and lives on the edge, then proceed with caution or run very fast over to none other than the closet dive. You are sure to get in trouble there. Matter of fact, what I would say is to like go watch like, I don't know, just like a half dozen of the closet dives videos and then... <laughs> Then take your credit card over to I Love Dooney and shop the 20% off sale. That's all I'm saying. Blame her later. Don't thank me later. Blame the closet dive because her channel is a dangerous, dangerous. Did I say dangerous? It's a dangerous place. But again, if you are looking for inspiration, whether it's styling, um, bags, or just kind of seeing them out and about, her channel is the absolute place to be. I am sure that I have forgotten a ton of channels. Again, charge it to my head, not my heart. We will be back on my channel on Saturday morning. Is that right? Yes. Saturday morning for Tribe Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, 10 Central. I'm not guaranteeing anyone that I'm going to have on pants but I will be dressed from like here up. <laughs> Sometimes from here down is a stretch.
for Saturday morning. Um, and then we'll be back on my channel on Sunday evening. I need some name suggestions for our time together on Sunday. I, I don't know whether um whether I wanna I don't I don't want to um my YouTube name in itself is brand specific, but I don't want my time on Sunday evenings to be tied to a specific brand. Um, the curate your closet, shop your collection. I don't, I don't know if that's going to last through uh, 2020. So help me come up with some names for this time that we spend together on Sunday evenings. What I will do is I'm going to go to the community page as soon as this is over. I'm going to um, type the request and let you throw your names, um, your name ideas on there. And then we'll vote and figure out what we want to call this time on Sunday evening. So be creative, have fun with it, keep it PG-13. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time. I do hope that you find something that feeds your Dooney addiction, even if it requires an upgrade. Take care.